how to utilize all the hours in the day. I'm a very busy person. I'm a full-time student. Me and my mom own an online boutique. We do pop-ups every week, and that's a lot. That's very challenging. And I work at a regular job. People question how I have time for everything and how I make everything work. So I want to show you guys what I do, and hopefully it can help you guys be productive in your day. Only been a few hours, but it felt like days. Only been days, but it felt like months. Before I give you my tips, the most important thing is to build a routine, something easy to maintain. Since I go to school and work during the week, my schedule is already set, but also get a little boring. Step one, figure out what is the best time for you to be productive. Are you a night owl or a morning person? Personally, I get a lot of work done at night, but if I have time in the morning before I shift, of course, I'm going to try to take care of some business. Also, you want to give yourself some time to complete one task. I want to give you an example of my morning schedule. So in the morning, I would like to catch up on social media. I know it's going against being productive, but I'm being honest. Then I start promoting on all of my social media platforms. I'm promoting my YouTube channel, business, and other adventures that I'm doing. Once I complete one task, I feel so accomplished. Step number two is to write down any manifestations or goals or tasks for the day. Writing down goals for the day is essential and prevents deviating from the plan. You know how time-consuming social media is. Just make sure you're doing something to better your life. I always hate the fact that I'm doing something to make somebody else rich. That goes for work, that goes for watching a YouTube video, or even TikTok. So put that in consideration when you're scrolling on the web. I said scrolling on the web, oh my God. <laughs> when you're on social media and just, you know, killing time. Put that in the back of your mind. Step number three is to plan your day or week before. I know it's kind of piggybacking on number two, but this is slightly a little different. So usually I like to plan my days out. If I do it a week in advance, I get a little anxious. So I usually prefer doing days. Also, I like to check off things once it's complete. Like it's satisfying for me. It like gives me a sense of like I'm doing something right. Also, I have my tasks written down on sticky notes or, and I post it around the house so I can always have it in the back of my mind. Working all day is not fun. So this leads to my final tip, which is to find a hobby or to do more things that you enjoy in life. I started doing this because I used to get overwhelmed from doing so much stuff that I have to do to make ends meet, to, you know, to get closer to my goals. So I like to do stuff that I want to do. Like if I just like to go get some coffee or just sit in Starbucks to people watch. I know it's kind of sound weird, but do it. It's kind of entertaining. <laughs> Damn, I sound boring. But, <laughs> but I'm just giving you an example. Um, Before the pandemic, I used to go out every weekend and really, you know, turn up. But everything's been slowing down drastically and I'm more focused on my goals. And also, you know, my career, being successful in life and all that, all that jazz. That being said, more of the story is to do things that make you happy. So that's it on my video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I hope you got some information on how to be more productive. And I hope you guys subscribe to my channel. I have been so focused and having tunnel vision. I have been posting every day. So yeah, that is it. I'll see you guys in my next video. What you missed on the previous vlog was the 5 a.m. morning routine. On that vlog, I show you guys everything from us packing up the U-Haul, unloading, setting up our tent, and the tent, that's a that's a whole job itself. I show you guys the ins and outs of doing a pop-up and how to make it successful and how to utilize all the time that you have at any event you're doing. So yeah, go check out that video. I recorded it. I showed you guys other vendors and now I'm gonna walk around pass out these flyers for our, our pop-up event. You guys already know what's up. So yeah, I'm gonna go see how everybody else is doing. It seems like it's a nice crowd. Um, yeah, it seems like a nice crowd. I just hope they move down there so we can start making some money down here. Alright, I'm gonna put the
the camera so you guys can see. I don't know why it looks dark on my phone.